Hello everyone, welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time, I got my first game over, first two game overs actually, and I got a 1 in 128% chance for a pogo, for a pogo punk to give me a hamburger. Now in between episodes, I grinded me up a bit and I'm now level 5. I am ultra swole, 60, 60 hit points, 20 psychic points, and I'm on the verge of leveling up again. Now, now, for this episode, I actually want to go exploring a bit. After I, uh, beat this run- after I, uh, beat this runaway dog here. Yeah, these guys are jokes to us now. Sick, sick crit. And, if you'll see here, coil snakes, we just insta-win them because... We just insta-win because we're that strong. We're swole, if you will. <laughs> Hey, that's my can of fruit juice. And you don't get it back after the fight either. No, the game makes sure you can suffer. No, the game makes sure you suffer. So. So, remember that guy who was asking us to come to his house later alone? Well, this is what he's talking about. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Ah, I can tell by the look on your face you don't want to hang out, do you? I know, I'm this, this that I'm here, am I not? That's alright, after all, we are not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar. I mean, you are a liar exaggerate. So, but maybe I'll surprise you. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da so, Ness, buddy. I found proof of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah, ha -ha, I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Now this thing will become really important later in the story. Let's talk to him about it. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. And if you try and check it, it says, The golden statue is glowing strangely. I'll check it again, and this time I'll stay silent so you can hear the sound. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. No, I didn't mean to re-enter. And yeah, it takes a while to get out. 
just as it took a while to get in. Oh, wrong way. Oh, yay! <laughs> Dude snuck up behind me and got first attack. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the coil snake. Now the second thing I want to do... Hold on, let me just check the town map. How far am I from where I want to go? Oh, it's all the way across town. <laughs> this right here! This is a drugstore! Yes, a drugstore in an E-rated game. <laughs> so, if you talk to this guy... All he sells are cold remedies. We don't want cold remedies. But if you talk to this guy, he'll sell you a lot of stuff. The thing I'm looking for is this thing, the T-ball bat. Oh, and by the way, if you exit this without buying anything from him, he wants to say, he says, you don't want to buy anything from me? Oh, you hurt my feelings. I want to withdraw. I got a little bit too button press happy. T-ball bat. That moment when you have more hamburgers than cookies. Yeah, gives you a hefty amount more offense. Oh, sure. <sighs> you, you do understand that it's because I'm broke, right? Right. Okay, the thing I want to buy is the most expensive item here, the cheap bracelet. Yeah, as you see, it, it effectively doubled our def defense. That's... The next thing I want to do... Oh. The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west.
yeah, so funny story. When I was little, I confused East and West a lot. Until I found a really cool cheat sheet. Basically, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Ah, oh, where am I? Where am I going? Okay, so right, right this way. I tend to get lost a lot because I'm recording on a phone. Wrong way. Okay, I'll just insta kill you. And how close am I? It's right here. Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Okay. Just kidding. Being watched is, being watch out is my job. If you go, there's a secret passageway here. You go up here, you enter this house. This guy's really nice. He'll give you something. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Ah, you can't get- Seriously! Why can't- <sighs> We are equipping this. Now. I like how they were too lazy to write head, so they just put other. And then there- Mr. Baseball Cap. Great, now we're perfectly balanced in offense and defense. Well, not perfectly. I'd like to go on an adventure with you once you become a little stronger. Oh, that's so sweet. I had a dream about you and you were traveling with a cute girl. Is it Paula? <laughs> the dream comes true. Say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. <laughs> You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> there was yeah, that's adorable. All right, so now I want to go to the hotel. Yes, I know how much the hotel costs is $35 per person. Don't worry, I'm not ending off the episode here. I'm gonna end off the episode with a bang. Oh yeah. Good morning, here's your free copy of the morning newspaper, blah blah blah. Road to Tucson still closed. Aw, that's impeding my progress. I hate I hate games that that make me that impede my progress. With some stupid plot device seriously I can go past it here but I can't go past it <laughs> anyways let's go down to the arcade hopefully not with any random encounters good I defeated everyone in here don't worry don't worry about that that guy is fine if I try to talk to him I'll say this uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. And that's all he says. He doesn't fight you or nothing. 
All right, Frankie. Now that I'm swole, I shall I shall fight you. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Yeah, brandishing a knife is the stronger of his two attacks. That's dumb AI. Talk about dumb AI. Well, now I have to waste a turn to recover. <sighs> Seriously, why do you keep brandishing a knife? Oh yay, and I leveled up. My level is now 6, offense went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 2. And that's all, all there is. Failproof Frank can't be beaten. <gasps> and this is Frankie Steinmark 2. Yes, it's true. A battle right after another battle. Interestingly enough, Frankie is the one of, is one of only two enemies that use that specific music, which is a pastiche of Johnny B. Good. So this guy, he's pretty easy to figure out. He'll alternate between generating bursts of steam and attacking, whether it be throwing a punch or tearing into you. Be sure to time your heels around that. Yeah. Strange, I remember that fight being a lot harder. This is my first defeat. Failproof Frank is now just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, the monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Tory Entertainer Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Anyways, I... Anyways, if you exit and come back in, if you... He will heal you for free. And that's not even a joke, he'll seriously heal you for free. And, it, and you'll see that this shark has respawned. But instead of challenging you to a fight, he just says, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that'll be it for this episode of Earthbound. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe. Click the bell, if you'd be so kind. And, and I'll see you next time.